Kai here, and we're going to learn how to use the Decentraland Wearable Builder. So as you see, we go into the Builder mode up in our toolbar, and we go over to Collections, a new tab they have created for us. Um, and our first thing we see here is we have these two boxes, a new item or new collection. So we want to first start with a new collection. So what we're going to do is we're going to name our collection, and I'm just going to use the Acid Warrior as an example. So we're going to create the Acid Warrior. So as you can see, we have now a collection with nothing in it. So now we need to make a new item. So the new item, we're going to actually just click and drag our, um, our file. Um, so let's do the Acid Top. So we're going to upload this in here. And this is a, a unisex, so we're going to do a bolt. We're going to select the rarity, which is a legendary. And then we're going to select what it is, which is an upper body. And as you can see, my wearable is a 1,229 triangles, two materials, and two textures. We are only allowed 1,500 triangles in the model. We are only allowed two materials and two textures. So we hit Create. So now, as you can see, it just added it to the Acid Warrior collection. Now we're going to go and hit Edit, and we're going to see our model. And as you can see, we have uploaded our model into the, the builder, and we can now test if it works with the dances, we could test if it works with the wave, we could test if it works with the clap, and you can also test if it works with the male or female version. Um, so as you can see, this model works good for both male and female. And after we've done that, we have our, our wearable created. We have to make sure that you know there's no clipping issues, there's no... Um, as you can see in this one, this is actually an old model. I wanted to bring up some clipping issues. You can't have the hands, you know, going into the dress. You got to make sure everything looks right um, and doesn't collide with any of the other um, wearable pieces. And you also have to make sure that it works with like the lower body, you know, making sure the other wearables actually work with this as well. Once you've created your whole wearable and everything, you want to make sure you add a name and you want to make sure you add a description. So, I mean, we're just gonna write test in here for this. Uh, make sure your upper body is, if it's an upper body piece, is selected. Your rarity is right here. And then also, if it's a wearable that replaces or hides something, you wanna, in this section, add what it replaces or hides. And this is just the override section. And then finally, you have your tags. And if you want any tags, you know, you, for my warrior, I did warrior, I did ninja, I did Samurai, I did Katana, um, I did Dress, you know, all these different things you want to make sure you do so it comes up in the search. And then you're going to hit save. It's going to save that. It's going to clap for you because we're awesome. We're doing a good job. So then we're going to go back to our scene page and we're going to open our collection. As you can now see that we have a selection of our warrior that we just uploaded. So now we can set our price. Uh, the kimonos were 200 mana. There's um, a legendary. I thought that was a good price. So make sure that your beneficiary address is down here and you hit submit. And then now a glowing button appears, which is publish. And then this is where we actually publish it to the, um, the network. You know, this is how we actually get our wearable in the market. Um, as you see, I have zero mana. This is just a test network I use. You have to make sure you have 500 Matic mana to submit each one of the designs. So if you had a top, a bottom, and a hat, you would need 1,500 mana to submit. So once you have all your mana set and everything, you want to hit the publish button. You're going to want to authorize the mana on your behalf. And then what happens on that is it will bring you to a page that will allow you to publish for 500 mana and then after that is done the this button right here that is now grayed out forum post will then glow you hit the forum post and that will post it to the Decentraland forum which the committee can um, go over your wearable make sure it works correctly and doesn't have too many triangles the materials are right and this is also where they will talk to you um, to have anything that if you need any edits or anything so you want to make sure you do a forum post because that definitely speeds up the process of you getting submitted. Um, and then you also want to copy the link of the forum post and throw it in the Decentraland uh, making wearables chat on the Discord. And this just allows the committee to see it because they do have a lot of stuff going on. So they might not see your thing right away. One other thing too is these wearable, this wearable committee, they have been 
busting their butt, helping everyone get their wearables out to market. Please be patient with them because they have put in so much time and effort and helped out so many people, including myself. Please give them some time. Sometimes it takes a week. Sometimes it takes more. Sometimes it takes less. So please, please, please be patient once it's been submitted. And I can't wait to see your wearable in world. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this intro video into the uh, Decentraland Builder. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.